Hi there, boys and girls. Another music lesson with Mr. Tabone, and today's recorder lesson is going to be on Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And you have the music right here. And I'm looking at it down here because I have it on my chair. Um, like any of our pieces, the first thing I always like to do is skim over it and look for things that are gonna help me perform it. I'm gonna count the staves first. Yes, I have a little headband on my daughter made me. Uh, let's count the staves first. We have three staves, three staffs. Staff one, staff two, and staff three. We have four measures in each staff. Those measures are separated by bar lines. And we have a treble clef at the beginning of each staff. Once again, that treble clef is telling us the notes are in the higher register. And we have uh, order of lines, every good boy does fine and F-A-C-E. Let's take a look at our time signature. We're gonna have four beats in each measure. Now that bottom number in the time signature, if it's a four, that means that one beat is equal to a quarter note. And you can tell in the first measure we have four, we have, in the first measure we have four quarter notes. And that's all we can fit in there because we have four beats in each measure. And if each beat is equal to a quarter note, then you can only have four quarter notes. If you look at the second measure, you'll see we have two quarter notes and then one half note. Now why can you only have those three? Well, remember each quarter note equals one beat. And if a quarter note equals one beat, a half note equals two beats. So a quarter note plus a quarter note plus a half note, one plus one plus two equals four. Okay, so let's look at it and Little things, another thing that's going to help you is try to see where you have the same notes or same measures repeated. Can you tell me what two staves or staffs are exactly the same? If you said staff one and staff three, nice job. Now let's try to figure out the key signature. Remember the key signature in major mode in the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is in major mode. Um, the key signature will tell you where Do is. And notice we don't have any sharps or flats in our key signature. Usually those will come in after the time signature, after the 4-4. You'd have a little number sign for a sharp, or a little B looking symbol for a flat. We don't have any of those, which means we're in a very, very easy key for piano players because it's all white notes. And that key is the key of C. And the very first note in the song is a C. And piano players might call that middle C, but on the recorder we call that low C. It's so low it's actually off the staff and it has to have a little line to show that it's the line underneath the bottom line. Now if the note's on the bottom line and we have two of those in the third measure of the first staff, that would be an E for every good boy does fine. Every. Now if we go right below that E we get to the space right below that line. And what's right before E in the alphabet? Well, D. And we have some of those in the fourth measure. And then if we go below D, below that space underneath the first line, we have to make another little line. Remember, it goes space line, space line, space line. That little line is called a ledger line. And that underneath D, the space underneath the E line, remember the space would be D, if you're in the alphabet going before D, you would get a C. Now on the recorder, to make C, it's pretty tricky. I think it's one of the hardest notes because everything is covered. From our previous exercise lesson for um, Old MacDonald, you, know, you already know how to make low D, six finger position. Remember, left hand on top, flat fat, don't forget your thumb hole, rest on chin, good ski slope. Now to make low C, you have to put your pinky right hand pinky, remember you're not looking in a mirror, this is my right hand, right hand pinky on that bottom double hole. You might need to twist it a little bit to the right so your pinky doesn't have to stretch too much to get it. Now low C is a very hard note to get a smooth tone from. You have to have really controlled breath, a nice sound, and not overblow. If you do, you'll get this. Bad. 
but if you do a soft controlled breath with a t you'll get a low C sound. Oop, I wasn't tight here. So I'm gonna go first, you echo. Get in your position. Go. Good. So in this tune, we have C. We have two C's in the very beginning. Those are just two bottom C's, just two low C's, which is do. And then we go up to the second line, which is G, every good, for this, this, those next two notes in the first measure. Do, C is do, G is gonna be so. And from your previous exercise, you know that G is a three finger position. Right hand comes off. That's a pretty big skip, do to so. Piano players might call that a fifth skip. One to the five. One, two, three, four, five. We are gonna call it do to so. So let's practice going, just rest it on your chin, and practice going from low C to G, low C to G. And then in the next measure, we have two notes on the second space, spell face in your mind, A, F, A. And if G is three fingers, A will be two fingers. And then after those two A's, it goes down to G, but you hold that G for how many beats because it's a half note? That's right, two. So let's just do the first two measures of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. We're in the key of C. C is going to be Do. The first two measures, um, our tempo is going to be pretty slow. Soft controlled breath, a nice sound, good, good ski slope. One, two, ready, go. Good. Now let's look at the third measure. The first note, or the first two notes in the third measure is on the first space. So what letter is that gonna be? Do you do every good boy does fine or do you spell face? If you said spell face, give yourself a pat on the back. And it's the first letter in the word face, it's on the first space. How do you spell face? F. Now F is a weird position. We actually call it weird in music class. All you do is you make low six for low D, but take off your middle finger. This is called weird. And then we're gonna go from F to E. And that's a kind of tricky switch. Try doing that, rest on your trend, try going from weird to five. F to E, or fa to me. Try doing that a bunch of times. So we have two Fs, two E's. Now the last measure on that staff, two D's, low six and then a half note, C. Okay, let's try it. On your F, third measure, first half. One, two, ready, and. Soft, controlled breath. Make sure you have the right amount of mouthpiece in your mouth. Okay, let's do that whole first staff from the beginning. Look at it, skim it over. Shake out your shoulders. One, two, first staff, go. It's gonna take you some practice to get a good tone from that low C. If you're squeaking, don't worry about it. Just keep on practicing. You probably aren't sealing those holes tight enough, okay? And I do that sometimes too, and I've been playing recorder for a long time. Okay, so how'd you do on that first staff? Not bad? You know, you can always pause the video and rewind it and go back and try it again. Here's the good news. If you're able to play that first staff, you are two thirds of the way done. Why? Because the first staff and the third staff are identical. Now let's look at the second staff, those first two notes. And you know, you think about patterns and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, a lot of times you're playing each note twice. So let's look at the second staff. The first two notes, are those on lines or spaces? If you said the line, the second line, give yourself a pat on the back. So for the lines, we do the poem, Every Good Boy Does Fine. 
do that poem in your head and stop at the second word and what letter does that start with? Every good. So it's a G. Remember G is three finger position. We go down to F, weird, down to five, E, five, then a half note, D. Okay, let's just try that. The first and second measure on the second staff, on the G. Two, ready, and. Okay, let's keep going. <gasps> the next two measures are exactly like those two measures you just played. So the first two measures on the second staff are exactly like the third and fourth measure on the second staff. Things are getting easier. So let's do the third and fourth measure on the second staff, exactly what you, what you just played on the G3. Ready, and. Good. Okay, we're about to play the entire tune, slow tempo. Okay, get your low seven ready. We have a seven to three skip at the beginning, C to G with an A2. One, two, ready, and. Last staff. How'd you do? Now let's try at a little faster tempo. Twinkle, twinkle. Think about how you would sing it. One, two, ready, and. Good job. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Keep practicing. You know, go back through and practice Mary Had, um, Hot Cross Buns, Old McDonald. Build up your repertoire. Now you have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in your repertoire. Take care.